Well, let's talk about our new season. Uh, everything we do here um, is kind of tied into providing the best possible shows we can for those of you who are season subscribers or those of you who are single ticket buyers. And so we have to, uh, we have to really kind of concentrate on a number of things. First of all, people want different things. And this is uh, one of the things that's kind of, uh, kind of interesting for us is listening to feedback from those of you who let us know what you like and what you don't like. And we've decided that we can't keep everybody completely happy all the time, so we try to come up with a, with a mix where there are certain shows in there that are going to just really grab a, a, a percentage of the audience and others that are done for artistic reasons, for, uh, for grant purposes, for uh, challenging actors and directors, but primarily to do them in a way that's entertaining, that's enlightening, that makes you think maybe sometimes a little bit and makes you feel, which is why we're doing it um, as actors and directors and producers. So that's a little bit of how we look at putting together a season is we try to get a lot of variety in there. We try to do stuff that's kind of period stuff, contemporary stuff, maybe stuff with a little edge, but a couple of really good solid comedies uh, mixed in with there or thrillers or um, just pieces that might be entertaining. And so that's always kind of been the format and we do a seven show season. I'm gonna go through those right now with you. Um, the first show that we're gonna open with is the Maltese Falcon. That'll open on August 30th. And that's a show I've been trying, I taught film classes for a long time, had to watch it every semester with my students for 20 years. And I started thinking about this is such a nice show. It's so, so intimate as far as the number of characters and the locations that it would adapt especially well for the stage. Could never get the rights to do it, but finally found somebody who was associated with the Dashiell Hammett estate who um, had uh, authorized a version of it. And so we're going to open our season with the classic, The Maltese Falcon. Sam Spade, Bridget Shaughnessy, Joel Cairo, The Black Bird, all of the familiar things that are there and I think it'll be a very entertaining uh, piece for our audiences. A little mystery, a little intrigue, a little fun, a little tough guy 30s feel to that. And that'll, that'll open the season followed by a new comedy we wanted to do something in this political in this season leading up to uh, uh, elections that was political, but political in a fun way. We found a new script that had just been done um, on the East Coast called The Outsider. And it's basically the story of what you hear in the news. You hear of a governor who has been thrown out of office for sexual peccadilloes and um, they have to bring up the lieutenant governor who's just a nervy a nerdy, nebbishy, behind-the-scenes kind of guy who's very much into all of the business and all the detail behind being governor, but isn't in good in front of people. So he has a team around him, and we see him rise to kind of meet uh, meet the, uh, the the needs of the people, and it's uplifting both dramatically and done in a very humorous uh, kind of way. That's that kind of um, will leave you feeling good at the end of the show. Then, over the holidays, we do a split season right before Christmas, and we will do three weeks before Christmas and two weeks after Christmas, and we have a new comedy called Hold'em, and it's written by Dave Williams. You might recognize the name. Dave was a radio personality here in Sacramento for a long time, and he based it on three character actresses that were uh, he knew well when he was working in the theater community here, and he's written a comedy with those characters in mind and it's about three elderly women who get together every afternoon for cocktails and plan cards and the complications they have with the young manager of their complex where they are and the humor that arises out of that and I think you'll find it very entertaining. So that'll be our third show of the season. Our fourth show is a very charming comedy called Almost Maine and it's been done across the country. It's a romantic comedy it's couples and it's a whole series of vignettes uh, and it'll be done over the Valentine's Day holiday, which I guess isn't really a holiday, but over Valentine's Day. And hopefully everybody will be able to associate with one of the romantic situations that the characters are in. Uh, following that, and uh, that'll open on uh, 
Pride and Prejudice will be the next show, and that'll open on March 20th. And Pride and Prejudice, classic uh, Jane Austen uh, script. We found a version that we really liked. And uh, younger characters, some more mature characters, should be a very entertaining piece and also kind of fits the classic vein of giving us a chance to do something that's costume and uh, a, a little period feeling to it, but staying entertaining at the same time. Then in May, May 8th, we'll open with a new thriller. It's uh, from England. It's by the British uh, thriller author P.D. James, and it's called The Perfect Murder. And it's basically about a husband and wife. He's a little older than she is. They are not getting along too well. And they are plotting the demise of, of each of them, and they each have a partner in that plan. And there are a lot of twists and turns. It's new. It's fun. Um, at the same time that it sounds like it might be kind of gory, um, it has a little bit of that in it, but it's got more twists and turns than you'll be able to hopefully figure out until we get to the end of the uh, end of the play. And then we'll finish the season opening on June 19th with a new play that I've written and uh, it's called Horrible Horrible Men. And Horrible Horrible Men, uh, I, I was a horror fan as a, as a kid and I was a big fan of Boris Karloff, Peter Lorre, Vincent Price. And I found uh, a story about them when they were filming The Raven for Roger Corman. And they got, uh, they were t doing a press tour in New York City and they got snowed in to a hotel and they were confined to this small amount of space. They were supposed to be interviewed, but in the circumstances of the play, which is a mix of fact and fiction, um, they uh, can't be interviewed because they can't find anybody to interview her except a young female intern from the local television station and a freelance cameraman. And so it's a story about these three guys that we think we know stuck in this hotel room, there for interviews, they're in this confined space, we're finding out a lot about them, they're finding out a lot about each other, some very humorous stuff that goes on, and it includes visits by Roger Corman, who was the director and producer of the film, and uh, a young Jack Nicholson who comes in to give some acting lessons because he's there with them on the promotional tour. I think you'll find it fun. I think you'll find it interesting. You'll learn about those three classic uh, classic actors. And hopefully, in summary, with the whole season, you'll find a lot of things in there that you're going to like. We hope that you'll come to the theater, that you'll buy season tickets. And please help us by bringing new people to the theater. We find people who come to the theater say, geez, I've never been to the theater, or I haven't been. I saw a show on high school and I didn't like it, so I've never been back. So please, um, the biggest thing you can do to help us is bring new people into the theater. So um, thank you very much for your time and be sure you say hi when you're here for a show. Thanks.